I have flown, I'm not a pilot, but I flew in uh, Air Combat USA, which is uh, a program where um, you go up with a real pilot and you actually do dogfights. I'm one of the founders of Dynamics, um, and right now I've uh, been building the Great Warplane series. It's a lot like in the movies, they talk about suspension of disbelief. It's the same thing. You want to remove any sort of perception that the user has that what is occurring is a simulation on a computer. You want to make it as much like the real thing as possible. And I think we started back in uh, 1983, so that'd be over 10 years. I inherited a little bit of money, $4,000 or something. It was supposed to be for my college fund. Instead, I used it and bought an Apple II to start programming on it. And uh, um, wrote uh, Stellar 7 was the first product I did. Then Arctic Box, then Abrams Battle Tank, then um, A-10 Tank Killer. Do you want the half an hour version? A remake of Stellar 7, then Red Baron, then Aces of the Pacific, then a mission builder for Red Baron, and then a mission disc for Aces of the Pacific, and then Aces over Europe. You try to make the graphics as realistic as possible, and the sound effects as realistic as possible. I can't stand here. They're going to call a foul on me. <laughs> Sometimes some of the historical figures are real interesting, though, like Manfred von Richthofen, the Red Baron. He was a Prussian aristocrat, and um, he had a real clinical approach to warfare. He wasn't emotional at all about it. He didn't believe in aerobatics and flamboyance and stuff like that. And um, there's a lot of different styles for the pilots. You know, that was one style that he had. I mean, we have designs that that you know, we can't do yet because the, the, the hardware is not there. That's usually the limiting factor. There's a lot of physics involved, and there's math involved, there's history. It's, it's a really a renaissance kind of a career to have. Sort of like being a, a craftsman, you have to understand your medium and, um, and really use it to its maximum potential. It's satisfying to get to the end of a product and actually have created something from scratch.